happy Friday, TGIF. We made it to the end of the week. <laughs> I am so excited for today. It's gonna be a fun-filled day. I uh, have a Charlie Brown rehearsal this morning, which I'm need to head out the door soon for. And uh, my last day of work at my day job, my career, my um, job at the opera as an arts administrator. And then we have a lovely two week company holiday. And then this evening we have our final Twas the Night concert, the one that we had last night. So yeah, fun filled day ahead. I am on my second cup of coffee and I'll be making a travel mug to go, at least one. I'm debating maybe making two. <laughs> um, and it's a foggy, foggy day outside. It's chilly. So I've got a hat all ready to go over there. I've decided not to wear my Star Wars hat today because I'm just scared somebody's gonna yell out a spoiler. <laughs> so I am gonna wear it tomorrow morning when I go see the movie. I know that's silly, but you know, um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to the day ahead. Let's open today's advent calendar and I'll check in with you all probably a little bit more to answer some questions when I'm charging my car here. Mm -mm -mm. I'm totally distracted right now because there's a crane outside my window and I'm like, what in the world is it building? I don't know if there's like a new house being put in or something, but it's very unusual for this neighborhood. It's something I would usually see in the city. So <clears throat> anyway, day 20 of the Once Upon a Corgi advent calendar. Today's prompt is not a shadow, an Illyrian warrior. Uh, love it. These are based on the books by Sarah J Mass, the series, A Court of Thorn and Roses. Ooh, there's a progress keeper. Oh my gosh, I love, oh my gosh, I love this colorway and this progress keeper. First, look at the colorway. It's this kind of beautiful purple brownish black color. And then there's a wing. Oh, my goodness, I hope you can see that. Oh my gosh. I love this so much. Gabby, I love ya. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna hit the road. I'll check in with you here in a little bit. Hello, I am charging my car, getting a little bit of knitting in before I head to the city. I am. Um, Realized I didn't talk about my sock yet. I got just a little bit of knitting done yesterday. It was a pretty full day, deceptively full. <laughs> um, but here's the progress keeper from a day or so ago to right here. So I'm actually gonna move it up so I can keep track and show you all. But um, today we have, this morning we have, as I mentioned, Charlie Brown rehearsal and Charlie Brown the Christmas concert is when I started knitting five, almost six years ago, five years ago, I think five years ago. Um, and I started knitting again after, and sorry if you've heard this story many times, um, but I started knitting again because I needed to do something that I was creative and that I wasn't looking at my screen um, during all this downtime that we have during this concert series. We sing a lot in the first half of the concert, but during the proper Christmas, um, Charlie Brown Christmas pageant, if you will, um, we just sing Christmas time is here at the beginning and then we're just sitting around. <laughs> um, and hence knitting ensued. So it's always a little full circle feeling when we get to do the Charlie Brown Christmas series and I'm knitting. It's kind of like a homecoming in a weird way. So anyway, all right. I thought I would go ahead and answer some more questions here. I've got two more on this first page. Thank you all again for submitting questions. All right. What, sorry if I just hit the camera there with my steering wheel. 
what is the biggest cross stitch project you have worked on you have ever worked on well i think the one that comes to mind is the forest project that i completed a couple years ago by satsuma street or yeah i think a couple or a year and a half ago I still need to get it framed. I want to get it properly framed and finished, FFO'd. And um, I love it so much. It took uh, several years, kind of me putting down cross stitch and picking it up again, because as you can see it like this time of year, cross stitch for me is just not my go-to uh, craft when I have such a packed schedule. Um, knitting is a little bit better for me for picking up and putting down and um it's a little bit more mindless cross stitching I love it because you it's methodical you're following the charts it's very similar if you're doing like a color work project or something for knitting but yeah I think that was my largest project that I've done yet who knows what will be next <laughs> Um, and then the next question, the last question on this page is where did you learn to make bags? So, um, if you are new to, um, stitching the high notes, welcome. I, um, haven't mentioned it too much during vlogmas. I don't think, um, but I make bags. I have a little online shop and then knit while I chat with you here, um, that I started a little over a year ago and I make project bags for needlework and for, um, knitting or whatever your crafty needs are and um, I learned how to make them um, I learned kind of a basic bag I want to say like 2016 um, Nicole of Hue Loco has a fabulous simple bag tutorial that I think many of we bag makers out there have um, used as a jumping starting off point for our patterns um, and I'll link it down below um, to the pattern if you like to check it out and then I just scoured the internet um, and YouTube to see different patterns that were out there that were kind of free um, um, and kind of took different ways of creating the bag design that I had in my head and um, took like different techniques from various YouTube videos and makers out there um, to kind of create the design and the pattern that I use, uh, primarily keeping in mind a production line way of sewing. So while some people might make a very similar bag one way, I make it a different way in order to um, produce as many bags for you all as I can. So, so yeah, so that's where and how and kind of when I learned how to make bags. Let me open up the next page of questions here. Okay, second page. When did you know you wanted to make music your career? So I just the other, the other day, it's like, does anybody else say the other day when it could mean like a year ago or six months ago? So about, I want to say earlier this year, I think it was when we were packing up mom um, and uh, when she moved out of her house, we found some paperwork where when I was eight, I think, and I'll put up a picture here if I could find it, but I found a little note to myself. It must've been some prompt in like school or Sunday school or something of what I want to be when I grow up. And I, from a very early age, knew that I wanted to have my life be surrounded and for and totally engrossed in music. I wrote something like, I want to play cello. I played cello when I was a kid. So I want to play cello full time and I want to work and be in music all the time. It's like the main thing I do. So it, I've kind of it found my way, my way to do that. For some people, it's they need to be an opera star and sing full time. And that's the way they do it. But my goal has never been to be Renee Fleming or like the big star. If that's what the universe and God intended, then of course I would, I would open that up with, you know, take that with open arms. But 
for me it was the goal has always been to work in music in some capacity full time all the time and just I would say in the last well since I took my job at the opera I've really really achieved that I work in administration and fundraising and strategy and have a voice and I like to think a little bit of an influence on the art form and where it's headed, where where it's going. Um, I have the wonderful opportunity to sing all of the time and full time with the symphony chorus. Um, I get to do little gigs here and there sometimes um, outside of those two areas. I, you know, have friends all over the world who are musicians and get to see them at different points if they come in to sing or play or so yeah so that's kind of when I when I knew it was at a very very early age I I would almost say when I saw Yo-Yo Ma on Mr. Rogers I kind of went ding that's what I want to do <laughs> one more question or else this will be another 20 minute vlogmas are you going to watch The Mandalorian and you have to see Baby Yoda? Oh girl, I am watching it. I am watching it. I watched it yesterday after I remembered while I was talking to you all in the morning. Um, I love it so much. I have many thoughts on it and I'll probably chat about it. Spoiler, horrific after I see the new Star Wars movie and after the finale of The Mandalorian next week. So I think in the new, the first episode of the new year, um, I'd love to start talking about like geeky television shows and stuff again and kind of have my spoiler filled review or just thoughts about it um, in case you all are interested. So I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to knit a little bit more, finish up charging and then what time is it? Ooh, I gotta head to the city for a rehearsal. So stay tuned for some Charlie Brown music. Fingers crossed I can get some on video, videotape, AKA the iPhone. <laughs> Hello. I just realized a little side note here that I should leave a little bit more buffer time for you all to enter to win one of those two prizes that were generously donated by Molly of Molly Klein Design. You can learn all about it in yesterday's vlog, day 20. And I will pull for a winner tomorrow, so day 22. So stay tuned for that. better mood after that rehearsal. Isn't Charlie Brown the best thing ever? Yes. It especially is. And especially knitting while you're doing it. <laughs> Keeping that health up. Got some immune boosts too. Now I am headed to work for a few more hours and then it's a concert tonight. Okay. We are okay. Three minutes. Okay. We are okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's do this. We okay, got okay, three okay. minutes. Three okay. minutes. Let's okay. go. Okay. On the is that okay? Sure. On, on, on the, the ninth night. day of Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> let's do that again. <laughs> That's so going in. No, okay. No, no, no. <laughs> On the ninth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. 
Nine ladies dancing, eight maids are milking, seven swans are swimming, six geese are laying, five gold rings, four calling birds, three French men, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a Having another party, but I am going home because I have 8:30 a.m. Star Wars. Home and already in my PJs. I am going to get ready for bed and hit the hay. Tomorrow is Star Wars in the morning. I think I've mentioned it a few times. <laughs> Probably sorry. And also a two-show day for Charlie Brown. So another full fun day, but a little bit more fun than the last few days. All right, have a good night, and I will see you all tomorrow.